Welcome back everyone. In the previous lesson, we covered our database schema in addition to creating a new post um, and showing that post in the all feed. In today's lesson, we will cover diving into specific users and following, unfollowing, blocking and unblocking that specific user. Let's get started. So here, I've already created a separate account so we can dive into the other account where um, the other account is called S Stephen L and our account is called Butter the Corgi. So Stephen L has created some posts already. Um, so let's quickly configure how to, how to in the feed, click on the specific user and then subsequently go to that profile page. Let's quickly add an action on this container where when we click it, we go to the other user's profile. So we're going to navigate to profile other user. What we need to do is actually define a parameter. The parameter we need to define is the user reference, which tells us what is the exact um, user we're going to. So it's going to be a document reference of users, a required field. Now, when we pass this document, let's press this. We will need to pass, um, you can click anyway. Uh, you can use, use the user's document or what I tend to do is just use the post user reference. So now we're passing to, passing the user reference to other page. Now what we need to do here is this. So let's quickly do a backend query on um, document from reference users of what we just passed it in, which is the user reference. The image, let's quickly set up to be um, the user's documents results, photo URL. The name here is going to be the user's document display name. And let's do the follow and unfollow functionality. Uh, so instead of using a stack, which came with the kind of this template, I'm just going to wrap it, wrap the follow and unfollow button in a conditional builder, because that's my preference. So let's quickly fix this, remove the stack. Cool. Follow, unfollow. Cool, cool, cool. Similarly, I want to do the block and unblock. So let's quickly wrap this in a conditional builder. And this one to be unblock. Let me just, maybe, maybe I'll change the colors actually. This to be unblock. This, sorry, this to be unblock. So let me just quickly name this unblock. Okay, cool. I fixed it. So basically we're a conditional builder where there's a block and unblock and follow and unfollow. Pretty simple to explain. So what we need to do next is configure the action for each of these and when to show it. So let's configure the action first. What we need to do here is when we press the follow button, we need to update the database for the user we are following in addition our user document. So when we update our user document, we got to add the user to following. For the other user, we got to add us to followed by. So let's quickly do this. So let's explain this. Um, let's do it and you'll get what I mean. So let's do update document. So the document we want to update is the user reference page. So whose page it is. We are going to go followed by, and we want to add to set. We're gonna add us to the set. So it's authenticated users, user reference. In addition, we will also update document again. We will update our document. So the authenticators users reference. We will update following. 
following, we will add to set. Who are we following? The user reference page. The user reference of the page we're viewing. So we do this. Perfect. So we have to do the same for unfollow, which is this page. Just quickly, let me quickly rename this, sorry. Unfollow. So for this unfollow, we need to do the inverse. Instead of adding us to it, we remove us and the other user from what we just did. So the inverse is we have to remove from set the authenticated user, us, in addition, update our document, our following this, remove from set the user reference. Sounds easy enough. Let's do the same for the blocking. So let's quickly do this. Let's quickly copy this action chain so it's a bit easier for us later on. Let's add the action for the block. So let's paste the document. Here we want to, um, it's going to be the blocked by, it's going to be blocked by us. So for the user we're viewing, blocked by, if we click block, if we click block to block them, we have to add us to blocked by. In addition, we need to update our blocks list. So we're going to update us. We're going to update a blocked user for our user. We have to add to set the user reference. Who are we blocking in essence? Easy. Now let's do the same for unblock. So I'm copy action chain, unblocking. It's going to be the similarly the inverse, right? So instead of adding to set, we remove from set. So we need to remove us from that user's block by field. In addition, we need to remove our blocked users, remove that user from our blocked users. Easy. So this is asking, you're gonna set a condition here. Let's configure the follow and unfollow button. So we want to show the follow button when the user profile we're looking at is not followed by us, i.e. We, we are not currently following them. So the condition we need to do is if the user's document, i.e. the user we're looking at right now, um, followed by this contain item, authenticated user. And I'm gonna set this as opposite statement. This basically means that we are currently not following this user, i.e. this user's followed by does not contain us. They're thus the opposite statement. Similarly, we will do that for the block. So I'm just gonna do a quick, um, kind of a quick copy. Paste this. And instead of the followed by, it's blocked by. It, in, um, in summary, this shows that the current user we're viewing's blocked by list does not contain us. That's giving, them, giving us the opportunity to block them. So let's refresh this and see if it works. So now that's loaded. So we're currently on the account of Corky the Butter. I'm gonna go to Steven's account. I'm gonna follow him. And you can see it changed to unfollow. And we can also see in the back end, Corgi the Butters following is now following this user, like i.e. Steven L. And then we can also block. And here we can also see the blocked users is also, the blocking mechanism is also working. Perfect. What you can also do is that when someone presses block, they also unfollow at the same time. But you can do that just by combining the actions we've done, um, which you can figure out easily. Cool, now that we've configured the kind of uh, post, oh sorry, now that we've configured the 
functionality to follow and un uh, unfollow, block and unblock. Let's quickly just configure the other parts of the details page, such as posts, followers, and following. So here we want to show what posts have been posted by this user. So we can easily just select the column here. Now, oh, sorry, select the list view and then generate dynamic children. So the children we need to generate is, we want to do this, add a background query, query collection, post, list of document, where the user ref is equal to the user reference. This means that what are the posts this user has posted? Confirm, generate dynamic children. And then let's also configure these variables. So the time, let's just do, um, the, it's gonna be the post document, create a date time. Uh, let's change this to maybe the date. Let's pick this. And then the post itself, let's call this post document and then post text. Next, we want to configure who is this user following and who, who, who is this user following and who are their followers. Next, let's configure the followers view. So here we want to see and show who is following this user. So we can easily go to the list view here. And what we want to generate is we want to generate the dynamic children from the user's documents followed by list. And then in addition for the user card, we want to do a document from reference so we can know the detail of who is following this user. So it's going to be document from reference of users, followers item. And then the photo is going to be the followers items. So the photo is going to be of users, but it's going to be of this user from the user card query, photo URL. And we're just going to delete this email, really unnecessary. I'm going to cha add, change this Albert Swift, Albert Swiss text to a variable. Um, it's going to be from the card view, display name. fix the alignment. Similarly, we need to do the same for following. So here we want to show who is this user following. So similarly, generate direct children, generate dynamic children, following the user's documents, following list, save. Let's delete, now delete, format this a little, align the row. Now, similarly for the user card, we need to do a document reference of users following this and let's assign the image. Uh, it's this, your photo URL and the name is, um, the name is also uh, from this card query. Cool. Now this works perfectly fine. Let's just enlarge this to 16. Great, let's reload this. So now that's reloaded, let's go to Stephen L's profile. Let's follow, let's, we can see here that Stephen L has submitted these texts, these posts, sorry. Um, that almost reflects exactly what's shown here. So first time here, what's up? I'd love to visit Japan. We can also, you know, arrange it um, arrange this list view based, based on um, when it was last posted. So let's simply do this, decreasing, and deploy the index quickly. This, this really doesn't impact, uh, this really doesn't change a lot of what we've shown here. So, but what, what I wanna show you is that there's followers and following. Currently it's blank. If we, corgi, the butter, the corgi, follow here, we can see that our profile is popped into here as followers and we can unfollow and it disappears perfect now this works perfectly good i can also jump onto 
kind of my profile where we don't have a follow unfollow button and we don't have any followers but we can see here we are following Stephen L as a profile easy peasy cool now this concludes this lesson on configuring the detailed page of the profile detail page in addition creating unfollow and follow block and unblock actions and configuring the post detail following followers and following list views i hope you enjoyed this lesson remember to comment like or subscribe for more content on flutterflow in the next lesson we will do our final touches on configuring the all and following feed where it will exclude anyone we've blocked in addition for the following feed it will show the post that we're following in addition removing the ones we have also blocked as well remember to comment like or subscribe to keep updated with this series